let me tell you a little bit about the rooster. Now let me tell you what I did with this guitar. I put it on a 25 inch scale length with an oak neck with a multi-wood fretboard of walnut and oak. And I also put a piezo pickup inside underneath the bridge right here. And I really like the box a lot. One of the reasons I like the box besides the awesome graphics is the box top is very thin. Can you see it? You can see it inside the sound hole there. Very thin, which means it's very good acoustically. Very loud. Now to stay with the theme of the Rooster guitar box, I put a chicken head volume knob on it right there and it only sounds good when I play it with my Chick-fil-A pick. Let's try this thing unplugged finger style. Now I'm going to try it through my Line 6 Spider Classic 15 amp on a clean channel, a little bit of reverb.
it sounds like with my Chick-fil-A pick and my bottleneck swamp slide. I would have liked to have put a magnetic pickup on this box, but I didn't want to mess up any of the graphics on the face of this thing. I could have went with one that goes underneath the box top, but I decided not to, and just put a piezo under the bridge here. But I think it sounded really good. What do you think it sounded like? Let me know down there in the comments. And again, I would like to thank CBGiddy.com and Shane Spiel for letting me try out this very cool box. If you'd like to see the cigar box guitars I currently have available, make sure you visit southernfireguitars.com and also back in stock, the bottleneck swamp slides. If you like cigar box guitar videos, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, and blah, 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 blah. From the backwoods where I really do have live roosters, <coughs> my name is Michael and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>